Hey guys, how are you today? I have got some happy mail. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm, I have two happy mail uh, packages from two different people. I think the bottom one has an artist trading brush in it, otherwise known as an ATB. Um, but let's open this one first. This one is from Lindy Lessard. Um, and she just told me today, have you gotten that yet? And I'm like, uh, no, I didn't know you sent me anything went to get to the mail today and there was no the only thing that was there was packages from people and places and things so let's get this opened a lot of goodies in here I can see it already can you see that all right let's pull it all out oh there's one of the things she told me about all right and I am gonna sit down Okay, there is goodness in here. I can see it already. So the first thing she told me about was this purple pig, um, this purple pig keychain that she had uh, quite a few of them. And um, isn't it the cutest thing? It's a little purple pig. I love it. Oh, he's cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a collection of little um, dangles and things that don't have bags to live on yet um, or there or that I'm not using at the moment so that I hang them when I'm not using them on a bag I put them on my bulletin board so he's gonna put on go on my bulletin board by my computer desk here is some really fun tissue paper isn't that pretty that's gonna be nice to use for collage love it some napkins love them what is that it's a die cut piece of cork from Paper Studio and it's in the shape of the United States. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let me get it back in there now. And of course I don't have my reading glasses on. Because <laughs> we you know. Why would I put glasses on? Holy moly. Alright, well that's gonna be good enough. And painty paper so pretty. Some chipboard. This one says beautiful. There is, this one says court dress. And a hand that says love. These will be great in like grab and glues and like some mixed media tags and things. A dress and then grand time. Really pretty ribbon, pretty black and white ribbon. There is, looks like there's a, le a letter from Lindy, so I'll put that aside and read that off camera. This is a pretty piece of tissue. That's pretty cool. Looks like ATC cards. This really cool piece of an old tape measure, which is totally cool. And a die cut, we'll put that over there. Live joyfully. Oh, I love that, live joyfully. Should be my motto. Some more, more chipboard. Okay, so here's some ATC cards from her. And yes, so she not only signed the back of them, she put what she used. So this is Neo Color 2 and Ink Tense and heavy gel medium and gelatos. That's pretty cool. And then, what is this one? Gelatos and texture paste. They're like little experiments. And this one is acrylic ink. So fun. And then there is a bicycle paperclip. <laughs> That's totally cute. I love that. Um, some flash cards. So I actually have a box of cards, a drawer, a little drawer of cards. So I'll put those in there. Some, she sh showed these papers on the chat we were on the other day. Um, they're actually scrapbooking papers, but wouldn't they be cool stencils? They're die cut papers. This one is butterflies and this one is a heart. Love it. And this one the looks like the heart would punch out. So you could use it just the heart the flowers of the heart or you could punch it out and use the heart shape so that would be cool and then it says color resist paper on the post-it note 
So this is really cool color resist paper. These are cool. So you spray it with inks or something or use watercolors on it and it'll only soak into like the matte parts. The shiny parts are going to stay white. That's pretty cool. I actually don't have any of this paper, so that's pretty cool. Never stop dreaming. Oh, I love that. Never stop dreaming. This one's pretty cool. Can you see the pattern on there? I don't know if you can see it. There we go. It's pretty neat. I love it. Love it, love it. Oh, there's one back here. Keep sunshine in your soul today. That's, that's a good idea. Some days it's easier said than done. <laughs> And there's some chipboard. Now I know Cindy Utter has got um, a few of us embossing our chipboard or our die cut wood. And I know Lindy has been doing it. So look at the ones that she did that she sent me. Aren't they pretty? So cool. So they're embossed on one side with embossing powders. I love that. They are so pretty. I can't wait to use them. And then it looks like she sent me some more unembossed. There's a few little pieces in here, and there's a word um, cherish in the background. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a note in here, so let me pull the note out. So she says she's been collecting chipboard for years, and um, so she's sharing some of her collection with me, and she said my initials were included in the bag, which I just found. Look at the seam ripper. <laughs> I love that. And there's a Starbucks coffee cup. Well, that's a coffee cup. Some really pretty leaves. I love the elephant. I love the elephant. A, do a doily shape. These are cute, Lindy. These are so cute. This says wonderful. Some more leaves. A little bird. Oops. A little bird. A tree. Some tags and these flowery shapes. So cool. Thank you so much, Lindy. I am going to read your other note off camera and I appreciate and love all the bits and pieces that you sent me. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, I always appreciate your pieces that you all sent me. So I'm gonna put this over here so I can read it later. Now we have another box, and this one is from Maridel Abrams. And she duct taped it closed. Mary, you, you duct taped the box closed. Holy moly. I'm gonna have trouble getting it open. She really didn't want it coming open. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> it's really closed. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, the black tape cuts easier than the silver tape, just FYI. <laughs> that silver tape is the strong stuff. It's going to take me five minutes to get the box open. Okay. I think that's it, maybe. Ah, got it! Yay! All right. So there's a bunch of bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, how pretty. So this is some paper that I know Mary made. And um, Cindy got some also. So, so pretty, this paper. Folded into like a pocket. 
And inside of it is the artist trading brush that Mary sent me. Isn't that pretty? Um, with a tag with a note on the back. She signed it. Oh, I love it, Mary. Oh, it's going to be wonderful to have in my collection. And I love the paper. I'm going to have to reuse that on something. The paper is wonderful. Oh, look. There's a journal in here. I'm going to move the box out of my way. There is a journal. Look at this journal, you guys. It's got a nice hardboard cover. It feels like an old book. Look at the paper. Don't you just want to do this? Wow. Oh, I'm going to have to do some grab and gluing or something in here. I do have an overabundance of large images. And I think now I have a place to put them. This is great, Mary. Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you so much. This is so cool. This is the kind of thing you just want to flip through and look at. And oh, the some of the paper is just really fun. Feels great. I love the old calendar pages, the textbook pages, the deli paper. Oh, I love the colors there. How do you not love those colors? And this metallic is wonderful. And this is a nice collection of pages that you can just, you know, cover up the whole thing if you wanted and other ones where you could just use it as a background to do some grab and glue. Oh, I love this. And it doesn't have too many pages, so you wouldn't feel like you were working at it for an eternity trying to get it filled. I've made some journals for myself to use and I think I've just put way too many pages in them. I love the birds. Those birds are cute. Okay, that just makes me want to know what the heck they're doing. Oh, they're working on conservation on some fabric. That's pretty cool. This is great, Mary. Oh, wonderful. And I love this, this, this paper here on the inside. Oh, it's so cool. All right, thank you so much, Mary and Lindy, both of you. I love everything you sent. I can't wait to use the bits and pieces in my work and hang my little pig by my desk. Um, all right, that's it for right now, everybody. If you would like to join one of my Facebook groups, support my channel by shopping in the Etsy shop, or send me happy mail or something, all the instructions and addresses and all that stuff is in the description. So please check it out. Um, and don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.